Flight Sports TV, man. That's my dude. I rolls with him. You're with the man said. It's Flight Sports TV. What's going on, people? It's Flight Sports TV. I appreciate y'all for checking with me. Y'all already know what it is. We back with another one of them things. I want to appreciate y'all. Shout out to everybody in the chat. You already know what it is. I see everybody in here early. Uh, Ronzo, Basil, Daniel. Listen, man, it's always an honor to get back with the people. Um, listen, we got a lot of things to discuss this week. Uh, obviously, um, today... We're going to discuss a little bit about everybody in, involved in the Ball family. There's so many things to discuss. Hell, we could even get into some things regarding LeVar Ball, to be honest with you. Um, there's it, it, so much to talk about, you know, from the Charlotte Hornets just basically, you know, the season been over, you know, uh, obviously now with them being eliminated from playoff competition, which everybody knew was inevitable. The horn is pretty much through in the towel. Um, 17 and 54 this season. They never truly threw in the towel, you know, with LaMelo. I don't I don't, I mean, obviously we had to see the writing on the wall, but they never really shut him down. They pretty much lingered LaMelo around like he would possibly be coming back, even though it made absolutely no sense. Because why would LaMelo, and especially if you were a new president. You know, they just hired the new president. We're going to get into that as well. Um, it, it looks like they have a, a plan. You know, what I will say is throughout the last couple of years with the Charlotte Hornets, LaMelo has, has been wild. But lately with the <clears throat> trade that initially happened, now with the new president, it seems like there's some optimism. It seems like guys are going to be able to put the, a competent roster around LaMelo. I think just, you know, what they did, they 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 got slightly better this season despite having a horrendous year, you know, if that makes sense. I, I'll repeat myself, that they got slightly better as a team. But, you know, you won't really see it. You know, I think only Hornets fans or people that, are, that rock with Melo can – could honestly see, even though the Hornets, their record is just horrendous. You could still see they're going to be a good team next season, assuming everybody comes back healthy, assuming if they're going to make any moves, you know, they're going to abstract and get some pieces out of these people. So basically, let's say they already started, you know, give them credit for getting rid of the PJs and they was going to uproot Miles Bridges too. But you've seen at the last hour, Rich Paul and them, they pulled a power move. There won't be any power moves this summer. The Hornets want to get rid of Miles. Uh, I think that Miles, to be honest, which I'm, I'm not going to say that he's played himself into a contract with the Charlotte Hornets. With a record like this, they, nobody's played themselves nowhere. You know, the, the untouchables uh, remain. You know, you got the Mark Williams, you got the Millers, and you got the the, the Mellows. Uh, Bridges, I think he just he, he's just not that guy. It's something with the injury. It's something with when he's missed some time. It's just it, it's something lacking there. You know, it seems like Miles was on a different trajectory. I want people to obviously people see Miles now, but Miles was on a different level. It, it, you don't see that coming from Miles no more. You know, Miles was borderline an all star. 
I want people to remember, you know, walk down memory lane for one second, what kind of caliber of a talent that Miles was. He wasn't this spot-up three-point shooter that um, we're accustomed to seeing now. Miles was taken into the cup. Miles was a go-to scorer for the Hornets, reliable, not just this guy that just gets the ball and hopefully he makes it, hopefully it don't, it's just a, a mess. Um, things were a lot more calculated with Miles, and it seems like with his return from all of the domestic issues that he went through, um, it, it just seemed like his game is just not at the trajectory of, uh, that it was on prior to all of this nonsense. And you have Lamelo; he's just like I said, he's gonna have to take the grunt of all of it um, because the Hornets they suck, and this is his team, you know, and. He's not going to get credit for them not really putting a competent roster around him. You know, we don't we don't see that. We you know we see Pascal Siakam out there. You know, um, going on in Indy. You see what's happening with Minnesota. The the power plays they willing to make. You know, well hell, you you have another guy that's in that draft class that you know people know is is a force. And he took down both of those guys, including Anthony Edwards and Tyrese Halliburton this season. Um, but it's unfortunate that, you know, he just, like I said, is not is going to get lost in the shuffle in terms of LaMelo. Um, I believe that LaMelo is right on par, you know, um, and she is right on track with these guys. And, what, and, I'm, and I'm telling you, I believe that he's better, but I'm talking about, and the breadth of some of the way the NBA promote these caliber of players. You know, you have the NBA promoting Edwards like he's just something we ain't never seen. You seen during the play-in, you know, with the love they were showing Tyrese Halliburton. I don't know if it was because the All-Star game was in Indy, you know, because I didn't notice that, that was heavy. You know, I don't really see the, the, the um, crazy fanfare going on for Tyrese after they left the All-Star breakout in Indy. I just want to point that out. You know, um, I don't know if people peep that, but that's that's definitely something to evaluate. Also, you know, you know the, the big time news, you know, going on with Lonzo Ball, you know, if you've been living under a rock, Lonzo Ball is on his way back. And like I said, this is going to be an epic return in my humble opinion. Uh, a lot of people are going to have to take heed at what, what Lonzo is going to be able to bring, you know, for not only the Chicago Bulls, but for the NBA. Uh, I think Lonzo's return is going to be crazy. You know, everybody is, they, they understand the NBA was really, you know, and it was promoting the brother versus brother situation. Um, you've seen the rivalry week, I, I believe it was two years ago. Um, you seen the situation where they was ready to push the button on Melo and Lonzo, and they was going to play a significant role in that promotion for Rivalry Week. You know, with the Hornets and the Bulls, they had that as a marquee matchup, Lonzo versus Melo. So the NBA knew, you know, what, what, what's going on here. You know, so we got we, we just going to let everybody know. They had hands on Leangelo. They seen the power that he was bringing to the Summer League, um, to the Drew League. They, they was firsthand, you know, on that. Um, obviously, the Drew League been going on for a minute, but it wasn't until when Team Triple Bs was out there um, and they, the NBA came in, swooped in, and before you know it, it was coverage all over this place. You know, similar to, you know, what Jello was going to be doing out there in Mexico. You know, um, look at what, what these guys have done, you know, bringing national eyes to products that is, is, is kind of tough to watch. You know, look what he was about to do for the Ciba Copa. You know, they, you're about to have a Mexican league air, you know, on ESPN, on national networks. It was going to get to a point where, they had to figure out how America is going to be able to why it was a growing demand that was happening. And it was because of Leangelo Ball. It was because of BBB. It was because of all of that. You know, people want to know what the hell is going on and they can't miss it. And it just is what it is. But 
you know, Leangelo would be good. Um, obviously, we all know the the, um, the G League Ignite. They shut down, you know, um, and obviously I, I draw many parallels between that and obviously LeVar Ball. Um, obviously, we all know why all of these leagues was created. Um, we ain't heard none of these goddamn leagues, you know. I'm talking about all of them. Um, overtime Elite 2, they are not safe. Uh, how long that's going to be going on? You know, it's really expensive to run these leagues, especially when you don't have it. Um, when, you, when you seem like you're trying to one up what was happening, you know, when the JBA popped off, um, it sent them all into a frenzy. I want you to go back down memory lane when you heard Laval Ball say, you know, Big Ball is going to start his own league, you know, um, and he was about to swoop in and change the game. He did. Um, but well, that was so scary for them. They had to counteract with all these different leagues and different proposals to pay and, and do this and do that. And now you see what's going on with the NIL. And, you know, it, it's just like I said, there's not enough homage that's being paid. Um, and like I said here, yeah, Flight Sports, we're going to definitely pay the homage. Uh, we just getting started, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you hit the like button. Shout out rap guy, Jake, all y'all. I got the legendary Uncle Vern in the house. What up, Fly? I hey. can't call it. You, you, you see what's going on. I appreciate your support, you know, uh, rapping with Flight Sports. Oh, uh, yeah. You definitely. I want to thank you. Uh, what, what's, your, what's your thoughts on this situation, you know, with the, with the Ball brothers? Uh, we're discussing the Ball family. Wherever you want to get started, obviously, we know the G League popped off. They, they shut down. You know, one JBA, they, they closed down after one year. And now you got the G League Ignite closing down after four years. I didn't even know that. I'm just yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's big business going on right now. Yeah, uh, I don't know if a lot of people been people, you know, but there's so much to talk about. Yeah, uh, but that's we don't good. have to go there. We can go wherever. Yeah, that's good. That's that's good. That give the JBL another chance to come in. That give uh, the VAR another chance to keep on with that. You know what I'm saying? Because the G League ain't gonna stop a lot of things. You know, and then it ain't gonna get no great after that as far as the pros is concerned and get connected to. So it's, it's open field like it was then with the JBL. But that's cool in the gang, though, too. But the good news, though, you just said already, boy, and I ain't took a smile off my face yet. Yeah, Zoe coming back, man. That's yeah, oh, yeah, we can definitely get thing, into life. Um, oh, yes, we're going to be covering the playoffs, man. I don't want to do too much talking, but um, I'm, I'm, we're gonna, we about to start bringing uh, more content to the people, especially on the live streams. But um, there's right. a plan in place. But shout out Rap God. You know, we definitely plan on getting getting the playoffs started. So we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna prep the people. Oh yeah. Don't get started. Don't, don't slow down. Uh, we ain't going nowhere. We ain't, we ain't shut down. We ain't closed down for business. You already know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So but that's let's, what, get, that's, let, let, let's get into lines of coming back. Um, what what was your thoughts when you heard the news? Because things are seeming increasingly. Oh, we got so much bad news throughout the throughout the time. Throughout the last year and a half or so, two years, um, now um, with the news, seem like everything just coming out now was increasingly good. You know. Oh yeah. So yeah. far, yeah. So yes. Uh, so everything we have from Lazo is is great. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So it's like. Uh, so what was your thoughts when the reports are coming out saying that Lonzo is going to be playing next season? That all signs are pointing to him taking the floor. Yeah, what, I was. What, I, what, what's your I, thoughts? I, I, I'm very, I'm very well pleased, uh, flight to say the least. Uh, man, um, that was a wonderful, that was a wonderful day for me when I found it out. I think, the, matter of fact, you broke the news for me because I didn't even know it until I heard it from you. So, um, yeah, it was wonderful, man. Uh, flight is gonna continue to be wonderful too. We get on the court and, and um, get with the Bulls again and start doing what they're gonna do. I'm expecting some good things out of them, especially this year. Flight, this is supposed to be a good year this year, 24. Hopefully it'll be uh, a great year for some people. You know, what if the Bulls um, shoot back to the top of the standings with Lonzo? How how big, you know, would that be for Lonzo Ball? Obviously, people know the importance, the caliber of player he is. And I'm asking everybody in the chat, too. Uh, what are people going to say when the Bulls go from a team scratching and clawing to get into the playoffs? 
the bottom the bottom half to firmly comfortable in in, in the pool, in the postseason. I think that's going to be the difference with Lonzo Ball coming back. They win games easy. Everything is just easier. All and right. they, they shoot back to the top of the standards. Now I'm not saying number one, right? But I'm I'm, I'm saying a top five seed. Now where in that five? I don't know. It could be one. It could be five. But it will be a top five seed in the East with Lonzo Ball back, in my humble opinion. Yeah. Um, well, well, how big of an impact would it be if the Bulls, you know, went from a team that's scratching and clawing to get into the playoffs to actually being a top seed again? Well, how big would that be for Lonzo? God, uh, I think that'd be real big because of the fact that um, you know, like um, I realized before a long time ago that Lonzo make a difference for the Bulls as far as the um. You know, as far as um, holding it down, holding, holding, holding down the ship and everything, as far as being a flow gym and stuff like that, and that's really what they need, flights. So the first thing that you are gonna notice when he come back is they got that flow gym back. You understand? They got that steady, steady. So you know what I'm saying? Like they supposed to have that. You know what I'm saying? They gonna be. You gonna see the whole lot of. You gonna see the difference. And once we see the difference, we gonna realize. You know, yeah, they they get back right like they're supposed to. Hopefully, the Rose and the um, Levine can get they. You know. Game in order to get, so they can coexist at the same time, but that's another story. Right. Um, I, obviously, people don't remember Lonzo. It, it sure wasn't all peaches and cream the line before Lonzo got hurt. He, and he, yeah. These guys were trying to take the ball out of his hands. They still tried to usurp Lonzo and not allow him the full autonomy of the offense the way they should. I think now they so cornered. They got no other option but to say lines or just save us. Right. You know, um, but that, that that that's what's happening right now, um, in my humble opinion. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> I agree with that because they know what you know what they, they know what they lack. Yeah. And they know what, you know when he come back and he come back healthy and everything all you know good, <clears throat> they know what to expect. Yeah, I yeah. totally agree with that. Yeah, they ain't no secret to that. You, like I said, they they definitely, you know, they definitely had long enough to know what they missing. So you know what I mean? Yeah. Yo. Right, man. You know, so, a, a lot of teams like it, um, Caruso because Caruso played a lot like Zoe. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you know, it's almost it ain't it ain't really Zoe. You right. Get now, the thing is, the Caruso going to be better when playing alongside lines. Oh, I agree with that. Yeah. Not Lonzo. You know, that's that's the pressure. You know, you got Lonzo, and now you got to deal with Caruso. Right. I mean, so it's like it's, it's, it's no letter. Right. Right. They right. Work hand in hand. Right. Know? That's that's another smart guard deal. You know. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. 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 I agree. But none of them are playmakers. None of them are making anybody better. See, that's what line. That's what lines are coming to play. Right, exactly. You know, these guys can defend. They can shoot the three ball. You see it. You see Kobe White, hell of a three point shooter. Right, uh, Caruso. You know, jack of all trades. Pause. Yeah. You know, now you have um, Lonzo. He he's the facilitator. He can do it all. Plus, get them all involved. You know, well, take so some that. They don't, have, they don't have any of that, just a little bit, you know, not just a little bit. They don't have it. Hey, what is that general battles? What is the general battles of the Chicago Bulls day? Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, his name is AK. I'm, I'm not 100%. Right, right. AK, AK, sure. there you go. AK, yeah, that's what they call me. I got I got to get my ass off to them, man. They stuck with Zoe. Hey, Flight, they stuck with him, man. And they, they knew what it was. They knew what they had. If I'm telling you, Flight, they stuck with him. They prayed that he got well. And the organizations usually don't do that. They stuck with him, Flight. It ain't like they couldn't let him go if they wanted to. They didn't want to. No, you're right about that. I think that another team, they might have let him go. But I think the, the way the Bulls were, were moving, you know, they never recovered without lines on. Right. You they know, took uh, that, they, they fly, I'm gonna tell you something. They took that fall off in midseason. You did. So when they when they took that fall off, was always got hurt like that. You understand me? They all uh, start falling off. You get me? As far as their play, especially at the point guard position, you get me? Or if I don't know if you notice or not, but they feel like we kind of notice because they reckon they've been the same since. Right. All right, bet. So yeah, you get it. 
Yeah, they took that fallout, so they uh, yeah, so they know what they're missing. Yeah, you're right about that, man. Like I said, the Bulls are gonna be straight. It's just like I said, they just gotta get Lonzo back. And what, what kind of what kind of minutes you see Lonzo playing um, when he gets back? Oh, those short minutes at first until he uh, so to improve himself, so he um, healthy, uh, ready to go. Sure. Yeah, they gotta definitely play a smart with Lonzo. You know, yeah. uh, that's what I'm saying. I think they, they gotta make sure they preserve him. You know, yeah. they gotta come up with a plan. You know, a place to make sure that Lonzo plays the whole entire season. Yeah, and that's something that Lonzo gotta be mindful as well. You know, it could be very hurtful. Let's say he was to come back and something where things were not go as planned. So I think he's got to be be cautious and him and the Bulls need to come up with some kind of plan along with his team, you know, to if it's 20 minutes a night, it's 20 minutes a night, you know, and you make sure that you can preserve him throughout the long haul because we've seen without Lonzo the drop off. So they need to try to extend Lonzo as long as they can, you know, all the way into the postseason if necessary. Right. So it's going to be – on them, you know, because Lonzo's going to have games where they might want to increase those minutes. You know, um, they're going to have to, you know, be very cautious and careful when he gets back and fans going to have to temper expectations. You know, yeah, I can see Lonzo coming back on the minutes restriction. Right. So you're not going to see Lonzo playing crazy minutes at first, you know, yeah. um, but I do see him closing games. You know, that's why good coaching is going to have to come into play with the minutes restriction with Lonzo and they figure it out. Right. And I think that as the season progresses, you'll, go, you'll see him go from, what, 18 minutes a night or something, 20 minutes to increasing to 25 to 30, and then, you know, we go from there. Uh, but he's going to get a lot of minutes with this squad um, and give credit to the players that have played well in his absence. Like I said, I believe that – Kobe White has played well, you know, in his absence. And even when Lonzo was there, it seemed like they always tried to throw some kind of riffraff between him and the other guards. You know? Yeah. Um, and I don't understand why um, Kobe White is a hell of a backup to Lonzo. I think Lonzo can make his life a lot easier. You can even ask Kobe White, you know, um, if he would love Lonzo back right now. They all know that Lonzo is the heartbeat and soul you know, of this squad and the city of Chicago knows. I think that's what's real, real about the situation. Um, Chicago know it, Uncle Vine. What, what you think about that aspect? Yeah, well, yeah, like you like you said, they go uh, they gonna be very bad for careful about how you gonna come back. But like um, you know, like I mentioned before, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be a lot of minutes, you're gonna be to, to a certain extent of many restrictions. And they're gonna they gonna be how you go, how you know how you feeling and stuff like that, because they're gonna be pushing this stuff. So you know they gonna they're gonna keep an eye on the flight, but if he can go, they gonna they gonna they gonna to a certain extent let him go. Oh, what's he, up with Billy? Him Dodd? Him, you know, what's like up? he ain't gonna kill himself, I'm sure that he gonna be all right, flight. Like. So how did Billy Donovan survive all this? Huh? You know, I just think like if it was another coach, I don't think they would have got the grace, despite the injury concerns and everything. Right. Billy just it seemed like he was able to, he just got the ultimate pass. Right. Right. Yeah, I agree. He got something to do with this loser. Or he got something to do with this team going from number one to falling off a cliff. You know, right. they, should, they shouldn't have went from number one to fighting to get in the playoffs. That, right. I right. understand, okay, you're not number one no more, but it should have never went down like that. Right. Yeah, they were, like, actually they put those pieces together, like I said about the general managership and all that. They put the pieces together. When they put the pieces together, they knew he was the important piece, really the important piece. He was the glue to it. You understand me? They can go without Zach Levine. They can go without DeRozan. They can't go without Zach. It's just that simple. Yeah. He won't make everybody else go. Just like Melo. Say again, they the same way. They say at the same kind of game. Speaking of Melo, uh, they just got eliminated from playoff competition. 
Oh, that's, that's good. good. That's yeah, good. That's good. Uh, yeah, they go get they go get that draft. They go get they go get what's they go get that uh what's that? They go get some more players. They got to bring some players, the young players, bring uh bring around the mellow. They start from the uh what's the name? They start from the uh what's the name from the draft. They yeah, that's good. Yeah, they quiet they quietly rebuilding, but they ain't saying nothing. Right, right. Yeah, I just uh all right, I know. Yeah, yeah, I already know. <laughs> that's good. I like what they do it now. They still got cup chat. They they ain't got rid of him yet, did they? He's on his way out the door in the end of the you season. Think so? No, he is. He he announced it. I think he's still in place right now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but at the end of the year, he'll be out. He'll be on. He'll be gone. I think he's gonna go to an advisory position. Hey, hey, hey our boy fight. I wouldn't do our boy. Don't he fight this month? The twenty? Oh, don't he fight on the end of this month? Who? Man, kid Austin. Oh, he already fought already. When? Uh, what was it? Um, was it a week ago. A week? Did he win? Yeah. Oh, I got to go back and check. Hey, flight. Oh man. Okay, bet. No. Shout out to the chat, man. Oh, it was a week ago, huh? Yep. So. Okay. Obviously, a lot of people want to know what's going on with Leangelo G three. It's still a troubling situation. Like I said, I I ain't on here to lie to you. Um. It's a mess, you know. I we, nobody's heard any latest, despite him leaving on the injury uh, rehab situation. Um, we haven't heard the latest on anything. But all, all, all we do know is that Jello is in, you know, the U.S. So we we just don't know. There's no timetable in place. There's no situation where um, the Astros have put out, "Hey, we expect to see Jello here," you know, but. As of right now, he's not cut from the team, you know. Um, right. Still, so he's a member of this team. The season is still early, so who's to say that he just doesn't come back, you know? So I'm not gonna write Jello off just yet. Um, whether it's with the Astros or not, uh, the Jello is gonna play basketball again, you know. Obviously, he's shown that. He has garnered attention overseas, you know, and these overseas leagues have seen the power of Big Baller Brand, the power of the Seba Copa being a team that nobody, a, a league that's hard to find, nobody maybe even heard of it, to the team is on, the, the league is on ESPN3, and the, this kind of stuff is, is, is being looked at by other leagues. And, hey. They know, hey, listen, we bring this guy in, you know, hey, the hey, eyes flight. open attention. We sir. Hey, uh, but I was go, I was gonna say this flight. Uh congrats, congratulations to Jello on the uh, respected child. And also congratulations. Look here, I don't know if you know it or not. Congratulations for Kid Austin too. He finna have a baby. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of new you life. Already you know, you flow, already know, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of new life floating around, man. That's, that's good. <laughs> yeah, flight. So, uh, yeah, congratulations. Uh, I don't know if uh, Jello ready to retire yet, but uh, I don't care at all today. Right. No, nah, like I said, Jello, Jello, he gonna be playing. Um, yeah. Like I said, he's either gonna play. He could be back for a summer league. Um, he could be playing for another league overseas, whether in Mexico. Um, or somewhere else, you know. So just just hold your horses on Leangelo. A lot of people was waiting on Jello news and this and that. It was before the Mexico thing popped off. Everybody wanted to know what was happening with Jello. People wrote him off. He ain't doing this, and then before you know it, this happened. Right. You know. So um, don't write him off, and just know that you know there's a plan in place here. You know, to get him either back with the Astros or back playing in another league, playing professionally. I think that's in the cards from Leangelo, whether in the NBA or elsewhere. You know, he's a professional basketball player. Um, and he's going to prove it. You know, so it's just not the ideal route. But as long as you get to the destination, who the hell cares how you got there? Well, right, right, right. You got to put it at work. You put it at work, yeah, that's what's happening. That's what shows something from the work you put in. You definitely going to show by the work you going to put in, the work you put in, flight. And then if you take it serious, like I'm saying, you know, like, it's all depends on where his mindset is, flight. Maybe, maybe you know what I'm saying? Maybe he ain't, he, he, maybe he just don't want to take it that far. 
maybe by him um, having a, a child, now that makes it going to change his life a little bit more different. You know, I don't know what's going on in the person's mind. For real, though, Flight, nobody knows really too much. It depends on how he take it and how he deal with it. Right. Because, I mean, it was a major rollout, you know, with this league. You know, he had a shoe. Uh, he had a lot of things. So something's telling me, it's like, why would it go down this route? Yeah. You know, something just, something just seems a little off. Hey, you know, what, he had to have surgery or something? Well, they didn't say surgery. They said that he, he's going to go back home to rehab. From his injuries, you know, uh, it was just a lot of com- conflicting reports. Uh, Jello, uh, you know, while well, the team I think put out that he had an ankle situation, right. Jello went on a video and said, due to numerous injuries, you know, so he didn't pinpoint, hey, I'm dealing with this ankle situation. He said, injuries. Right. So that could be a multitude of things. It could be an ankle, it could be a wrist, it could be an arm. I mean, that, that that's, that's crazy. Right. Uh, like it I, good. But I'm sorry, but like I said before, flight, it could be he just wanted to just go home and just chill for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Be around his girl, be around his kids, expected to be a kid and all that. But I'm telling you something, flight. Sometimes people take it far, sometimes people don't. Sometimes you know what I'm saying? They get get with somebody, it's like they, they just, you know, not lose focus, but you know, it's just don't don't get too much of what's coming out of it. And then don't stick around and put it. We got to stick around and put it in work. Flight like with this NBA thing, you know what? With, with with this best, especially with this basketball thing, you got to stick around. You got to put it in work. Too many, too many, too many days off, especially when you're young like that. You understand me? But the injury is an injury. He can't control no injuries, just like with Zoe or anybody else. With Melo too, can't control no injuries. But sometimes you just got to be putting it at work. Flight, like you got to put it in work. <clears throat> Work yourself for what you put in for. If you keep all that, you keep all that. If you cut it short, just go over, stay home, then that's what it is. You went over, stay home. That's how a lot of people do, right? In sports. When they get, they get tired, just go home and go, stay home. I don't think that's what he going to do, though. I hope not. Yeah, I think they're going to be straight. Yep. Um, they're going to be they're gonna be good, man. Um, I think the, all the ball brothers, man, going to be just fine. I- I see, I see LeVar out there building that uh, that court out there. Oh, and yeah. Back, he, yeah, I think he'll be back on the court no time soon. As soon as that court get built, I think, yeah. So um, that's one good thing about it. He's going to be around where it's the basketball court at real close. Yes. Yeah. Who are you talking about, with Jello or Alonzo? With uh, Jello. With, Je- with Jello. With Jello and Alonzo, because they're going to be back in the house. Uh, uh, LeVar building a court out there. Should be, uh, he, building a, he building another part to, that, to the house. To his house, you, yeah. ain't never seen, you ain't never seen that. that I, yeah, I seen it. Oh, man, that was like months ago. Yeah, he built it all. They built it all to that now, as we t- as we speak. They gonna have uh, uh, what's they gonna have gymnasium up there? A gymnasium. That was gonna be official. Yeah. Now, shout out to AB the hero. He was the first person to um to put that out. Right. Shout out to AB. I forgot who it was. Yeah, but it was AB. The, uh, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yeah. But Lavar was just asked that just that he can't start no league. I saw I, uh, I saw him on TV when he was out there uh, with out there uh, Coach Fry watching the uh, the football game out there in uh, Colorado. Oh yeah, I mean listen, yeah, they, they, had play, they had Neely on the interview with him. Yep, people, right people, show, people are sure they respect now. Already done. I told you, quiet as a kept, man. The Bob Ballers, they, they, they should be bowing down to the boys in, 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 in college bas- in college basketball and football. Should be bowing down and say, "Yeah, thank you," because you came up with the JBL that made them, that made the people in college go off um, hard. They say, "Oh, we got to start paying these people." Yeah, it did take them long to figure that one. That was a hard one. They wished it, and then the G League turned around and started. They said, "They look out, look out, fans the G League folded." Right. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you. Yeah, I just found that out today. You ain't, I, ain't, I didn't know that flight. No, I didn't know that. But I ain't surprised, though. They was weak anyway. And what they was hurt, I'm going to tell you something. What they was doing, they was hurting college basketball, to be honest with you. That what it, that what it done was skilling them anyway. And then you turn around and give them a place just to you. They don't even get the one now. They just go straight to the G League. Used to what it does, they could just feed off the what it does. So now they just go straight to the G League and get paid. 
that was killed today. Obviously, that's why they say it killed him today, Dr. Doc. Yeah, what you got? Yeah. What, what you think about this new president that, that they hired for the honors? Well, you, well, you no, no, um, no, I ain't know nothing about that. I, I thought I, I, I knew that. Uh, what do uh, Cole? Cop Jack. Oh, uh, no, no, no. What would you say? Uh, older? You said who you said who? President? No, yeah, they hired, um, you know, I forgot this dude's name, but he came from the Nets. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna be jumping for joy. I need to see him do something. Then, that big, a black dude? Yeah. A biggest, it ain't biggest staff, is it? No, not biggest staff. Did he play with it? No, no, he was coach. No, but coach. He was president. He had, what's the name? The New York Knicks, right? Uh, biggest no, this guy, uh, for the Nets. I mean, this guy for the Hornets came from the Nets. Uh, I'll get his name shortly, okay? Okay, he was around when uh, what's the name that was um, there? Um, Kyrie Irving and um, and um, and uh, what's his name? Um, damn, what's that nigga name? The one playing for Phoenix, KD, he was around with KD and the Harden was all there. Who? Get it. That's all right, Fly. Well, that's the man you talking about. Was how long he been up with the um, with the with the um, with the Nets? Uh, I'm not sure. He was there for for an extended period of time. I don't have the full um time. I get Jeff Peterson. Okay. Oh, Jeff Peterson. I see. I'm casting rap. Rap. Shout out to rap guy reloaded. Shout out to everybody that's coming through. Well, I'm telling you. Um. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I did. Okay. I didn't, well, he's going to be the president. He's going to be the uh, oh, he gonna be this is new executive vice president of basketball operations. He's he going to be the president. Yeah. Well, you put all these funny names in front of the shit. You know, one thing about it with that situation out there with, um, with, with the Nets, Jersey Nets, then the Brooklyn Nets now, but um, it, the situation with them, they was running a lot of players. They were working a lot of deals. You understand I me? Mean, if dude can come in and work deals like they was working deals, you know what I'm saying? They can be successful like that, you know. They come in, and get you know how to work things, move things like that, because money moves things. And then, to, yeah, know, nothing else. The Hornets they got better tradable assets. Yeah, yeah. So they can they they know how to work it to make make you make themselves strong. Because they did, like I said, they did it with the Brooklyn Nets. You know that already. They did, they did it with them. When they started bringing in KD, when they bring then they turned around and brought it hard to see how would, they can move pieces and bring things in. You know what I mean, like that. And they and that kind of office can deal with that kind of stuff. That's a good, yeah. That's a good. That'd probably be a good person to bring in. A real good person. Mitch, that Mitch, Mitch Cupjack is was the general manager. Was he the president too? Well, what'd you say about Mitch? I said Mitch Cupjack was the general manager. I know that. Was he also the president also of operations? I remember when they hired Mitch Kupchak, they thought he was going to really do something. Yeah. I knew he wasn't going to do I don't do know that. if it was because of Michael or what. I knew he wasn't going to do nothing because of Michael. Michael Jordan be making all the decisions. Mitch Kupchak just, Michael Jordan, he, he, he kept, it would be hard for, I don't know. I really couldn't say that. Yeah, well, it would be hard. Get it is hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, optimism you, to this new guy. I remember, remember, remember when Michael Jordan did, I'm telling you, when Michael Jordan did to that dude out there, um, Krauss, whatever, Jerry Krauss, whatever his name is, um, the general manager out there. He don't think much of general managers. Michael Jordan, the first job when he ain't got to be the um, owner um, of the Charlotte Hornets, or the, uh, the Bobcats first and then the Charlotte Hornets, when he was got to be, had that, had that um, job, take the, the ownership, he um, he hired his best friend, Rod Higgins. Rod Higgins didn't have no... Um, no um experience with no general managership. He just had him up and do what he say. You dig? You don't understand, do you? I understand. Yeah. Obviously, he had he was Michael. He was Rod get, Higgins get wasn't experienced with no general managership. So Michael Jordan said, yeah, you my best friend. Come on. I want you to come general manager for me. With what experience? Right. He just got him right off the court. No, <laughs> but, I mean, but I mean, he was just he was playing though. Uh, Michael Jordan wasn't playing at that time when he when he got when Mike when, when Rod Higgins, Mark, Michael Jordan was the owner. Um, oh Higgins, oh, I thought you was talking about um, Rod Higgins played for the Bulls. Oh, 
Michael George's best friend, Rod Higgins grew up, I mean, Rod Higgins grew up in Harvey, Illinois. He grew up around the, in the same suburbs I grew up in, Harvey. I knew him. I knew him. I knew him personally, honestly. But uh, he played for the Bulls, and he was Michael Jordan's best friend. Best friend. Because he didn't have to, Michael Jordan had to be friends, remember, <laughs> especially on the Bulls. But Rod Higgins was his best friend, and Rod Higgins was general manager. Was a general manager. Yep. But, um, yeah, that's what Michael Jordan is. You know, he ain't, he want to be in control. That's why I'm glad he gone. Yeah, man, Michael, I don't know. What, what you think his legacy going to be with the Hornets? Um, bad, bad, bad. Because, of, um, not because, because it seemed like, you know, it's like right now, it's saying like he can't pick the right person, right? It seems like if he got a, Kwame Brown, from, from the beginning yeah. of the first one, I'm going to tell you something. Listen to me, all um, flight. Understand me when I say this. And I really do mean it, man, for honesty, all hardly. Uh, Michael Jordan looks at players when they're young and, and don't picture them how they're going to develop as they get older, that, you know, like that. He don't too much see that. What he sees is that youth and everything else that's going out is to flash like all other fans see. It's like the flash in the he see the he get the flash in the the pan ones. You understand me? Yeah, you get it. He get the flash in the pan ones. Was it like he get the oh what's the name? And, and he did good when he got uh what's the name? He did a good one when he got uh dude. Uh what's the name? The one that's all in trouble all the time is playing for the uh, for them now. For, uh what's the name can jump out to Miles, Miles Bridges. Yeah, he did good when he got Miles Bridges, but anybody else was since that because he really did hey look here, flight. I'm telling you something. He was forced to get mellow. Now you know that. And uh, and uh, what he's else? He's going to his line. Huh? Seven dollars fell into their line. Yeah, because they, right, 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 right. Because uh, what's the name? San Francisco messed up. They took uh, what's the name? They took that dude from uh, Memphis, the center. They took him. Um, yeah. Yeah, they took him. So, um, uh, what's um, Michael Jordan had to take Melo? But I'm gonna tell you, on Michael Jordan way out. Look here, Michael Jordan. If they would have sold the team, and, and and if he had to pick to get from um, instead of get, if he had to pick to get instead of get Miller, he'd have went for what's the name? Like I said, he go for that flash in the pan thing. He'd have went for that young guy, the one to be jumping out of the gym, the one that's over at um and um Portland. He'd have got him. He was forced to he was forced to make and because he had to keep his he kept his job all the way but to the end. He didn't he wouldn't if he did if it was without him, he would have never got Miller. He'd have got Scoop. Because he'd have been thinking that Scoop could be taking over Mellow's job because he could move Mellow for some money. Yeah, you would have had Scoop for a little longer. You know? He would have thought Shoot. that. You understand me? So yeah, Michael Jordan had to make that. <laughs> that 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 move that was he didn't had no choice. You get me because the new ownership was coming in. What the new ownership say? Well, you just we just gonna let you just pick who you want. We think you should have after you sign off all this money and go. That makes sense to you? Nope, it don't make sense to me. It said, look, Mike, we want Miller. Forget Scoot and whatever, Scoot, Scoot and whatever. We want Miller. And Michael Jordan did the right thing. He went up there and said, yeah, we want Miller. And that was it. He signed the paper and he sold the team. He was off in the wild blue yonder. And there's a new sheriff in town. Boy, I told boy with Dexter. One day we came on the show. That day, boy, I was so happy, boy. <laughs> I was so happy. He's gold. Go. <laughs> boy, I'm telling you. Yeah, Michael, man. Yeah, yeah man. Crazy. Yeah, as far as I even like was so arguably the greatest player, and he couldn't. He couldn't the, play, the greatest player, to go great. Wait, wait, it ain't even arguably. It ain't even arguably flight. The greatest player in the world ever, and the worstest coach, NBA or NBA especially. I don't know about high school or college, man, but he he he's thinking NBA flight as an owner, not a coach. I'm sorry, as an owner. Yeah, but you know, that ship been sailed already, so you bomb voyage, whatever. 
Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, they 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 doing bad. I'm, they I'm, they might get they might get the first um the first pick this time. They probably been the top three again. You yeah. think so? Yeah, I could I can see something like that. Yeah, cause they out fast. They out gay. They out early. Who else got a worse record than them? You're right about that. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Is that that told what he gave now? Yeah, but they ain't doing that. Okay. But they need to get some pieces around Wemby. Yeah. I, I wish Wemby would have went to Charlotte. Yeah, I did. I wish the yeah, boy, I'll tell you, boy. That would have been nice with the play. And we got the second pick, didn't we? Yeah, Charlotte, Charlotte got, got the second pick, right? Yeah, that's how you got Brandon Miller. Right, right, because it was either Wimby or right, that right, right. That's either Wimby, right, right, or, right, right. Either Wimby or right, 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 right. You got it. Yeah. Uh, you got the <laughs> best player in the draft. <clears throat> Wimby or Wimby is was it still is. Yeah. Miller. I think, man, I'm gonna tell you something. Uh flight. Miller could um come past. No, it's too late. Oh no, it ain't too late. They still got some more games left. But Miller can come store up a little bit and give um Wimby uh, a run for that um rookie of the year. You think so? Yeah. Cause I think if he, he should be he should be getting picked second, at least second for the league for that. If he if he don't get first what first for, he should be at least looking at second or a real close third. I don't see nobody else beating him third. Not as far as the rookies go, anyway. Cause he playing, and he still, and he still, he ain't injured. Is he, is he still playing? Yeah, yeah. yeah this is not make sense. Yeah. So, so, so to all y'all in the chat, um, I want I want it's gonna be good. But I think that this is the this is the best chance they got to be successful. Is a position that they're in now, and they don't have a lot of time. I think that no play, they got a lot to do it, they're gonna do it, or they need to make a decision on the memo because they're wasting everybody's time. It's like, unless you got a, a team like that, would you jump out like okay, like with um, Melo, like even with okay, even with even with um, Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan won his first championship in the seventh year of the season. Um, damn. A whole lot of players usually when they even I guess even with LeBron James, what is LeBron James? Didn't he win the championship this seven seven year? I'm not 100 percent sure, but I know he won't. You know, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of good rookies to be coming in and they like make their franchise players like that. You got to build that team around them and everything like that. Then their team start getting good. So I see Melo getting at least a championship in this what at least by at least by his seventh year in the um in the league. And this is what his third going on this fourth, yeah, yeah. So I, I like that. They ain't gonna be just to kick like that. But they get they doing the right things, and they got the new ownership for a flight. I'm telling you, man, man, that was a nice table for him. Nothing better could have happened with that situation. I know Michael Jordan wasn't treating him like he was a bomb, but I'm just saying he could do bad somewhere else. No, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to do yeah. better to Charlotte for And then you ain't going to put nothing around him? No. Yeah, that's crazy. No, no. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad, man. All this, it's good out there. And then Zoe coming back, too. Ha, ha, ha. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, they got to do something. We're going to go out by putting some time around them. We got to figure something out. Oh yeah, they don't deserve this. This is crazy. Yeah, they is fair. They're doing it right now. Um, they get they get them um guards around them. Um, they get they get they getting players around them. Oh, oh, they can tell you. Yeah, yeah, they getting players around them. That was good. They got that one dude from Boston, that um light skin dude, that, that power forward. What's his name? Williams. Yeah, they got him from Dallas, where he was in Boston. Oh, right, 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 right. He yeah, he was Boston. Yeah, he, he was he was, he was on the Celtics. Um, yeah, yeah, he gonna, he gonna pay dividends. I think that they need he he gonna be replacing PJ. I think that that's a good replacement. Yeah, what you, you know, think they are gonna do with Miles? The plan. What you think they are gonna do with Miles Bridges? I, I think I think it's inevitable he gets traded. 
You know, yeah. um, and, they, and they just use him to get more pieces. Yeah. You know, I think they should just do it. I don't think some Miles ain't the same player. I think he was prior to Airbnb days. I don't see it. <laughs> Airbnb. It was the old days, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, man. Like I'll tell you, uh, flight. I don't know. It's like I said before. People got issues. You know, not you know. Uh, I, I wouldn't call it issues. Though. You know, this got yeah, yeah. People got things. You know, more things is going on off the court than it is is going on on the court. Yeah, yeah. This a gentleman may be a good fit for a young Rockets, Kings, or Nets team. I agree with that. I like him with Houston. Let's see. I can see him being good with Charlotte. Quiet just kept. With Charlotte, yeah. yeah. He fit good, you know, with that squad. Uh, he was right on the team with the Mark Williams of the world, maybe. Yeah. It's crazy how he did. He, it, it just didn't work out. Right. Give him props. Mm -hmm. That shit don't make sense. Salute to all the G3 fans around the world. Just be patient. You know, uh, Jello, he'll, he'll be back before you know it. You know, I think we're going to get some good news. Uh, we got nothing to break to you today. Um, but it's definitely wild to see what's going on with him. It says Jalen Green about to have three babies. I mean, he got it with Dre, yeah? When these things happen. Yeah. She had the game, too. They, they had some kind of relationship. You know, uh, that's more power to him, man. Oh, yeah. Um, it is what it is. He playing really well, too. Uh, yeah. He's he, he still with Houston? Yeah. Uh, so he's, he, he's starting to turn on a little bit. Uh, they haven't had any success as a team either, but he's starting to move in the right direction. He's starting to see, okay, he's going to be something. Right. So I'll uh, just be patient with him and his trajectory. Um, I remember it was Jalen Green versus K. Cunningham. Them two that didn't quite ideally get off to a right start. But it is what it is. Speaking of Green, he's one of those guys that came out that ignite. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I said Ben Ballin. I said Rock is red. Yeah, I'm saying looking good, man. The Rockets, uh, I don't know, but they look, they, they all right. Oh, yeah. Somebody said the Warriors in trouble. You know, the Warriors, uh, I don't know what's going on with Clay Thompson. Oh, he ready to retire. Yeah, they blaming him for everything. Yeah, he, he ready to retire. So he ready to retire. Yeah, he is because uh they're gonna be redoing the contracts and stuff like that. If they get rid of pool fast, they get rid of Clay Thompson too. Yeah, I guess the only one that's safe there is Curry, right? Right. Hey, yeah, is, uh, is uh, did Clay Thompson sign a new contract yet? He's still on his own contract. Well, I think you're gonna find that out at the end of the year. Yeah. He ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Well. The business is to take down this business. I would be shocked if he left. Yeah, take down this business, cut this business down. I don't know what's happening with that. Like I said, I ain't been watching, I ain't been, I ain't been watching too much of the uh, NBA basketball anywhere, especially San Francisco. Yeah. Well, no, I ain't been too much watching that. But, uh, yeah. We got one in it all this season. Uh, uh, what, uh, uh, what, 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 did NBA? Yeah, who you think I won it all? East or West? Oh, uh, yeah, flight. You, that's a good one. Oh, no, flight. It's open. It's an open field. Flight, I don't see no favors. I like your work. I, I would have said we, uh, Phoenix coming out of the West, but I don't even see the Phoenix Suns coming out. I guess coming out of the West, I should probably dimmer with it again. Yeah, I can see Denver. I can, see that same run. I can see that same. I'm sorry, Flight. I can see that same run coming up out of the same ones coming up out of the West. I can see Denver come out of the West again. You act, you know what I'm saying? Because Phoenix ain't they ain't done it down. You know, they you know it's, it's wide open, right? Actually, <clears throat> I was, I, who you see coming out of the West? 
Well, that yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what's the day? Uh, what's Colorado? Uh, what's the day? Dibble. I see Dibble with it again. Who who you see coming out of West Block? Yeah, good call. Yeah. Them, them are going to be a squad, man. They still haven't uh, found the answer for Jokic. He's still unstoppable. So he's still going to cause a problem for me. Yeah. But I, I like the Bucks, though. I like, yeah, yeah, I love the Bucks. I like yeah. Giannis. I think Middleton is the wild card. Um, man. It's gonna be good to see them versus Celtics. I think and hopefully that's a conference finals matchup. That's gonna be you get the popcorn. So uh the Bucks back in first place. Uh let me check right now. You know, the stand has been going crazy. So um I'll be able to get a um a better lookout for you right now. Uh shout out to the Milwaukee Bucks. They are second in the in the East right now. But like I said, shit just been flip flopping. Um, damn, hold on, wait a minute. Then the Celtics, yeah, they ran it up. They got they they up on the Bucks by a lot. Oh, okay, they passed the Bucks. They fifty seven oh, and fifteen. The oh. Celtics. Celtics got the best record in the NBA. I ain't surprised. Celtics gonna be sub else. Okay. Celtics gonna be sub else coming up out of the East, boy. Yeah, they're gonna be something the best with they Bucks got them though. I think the Bucks got them for real, for real. But uh they're gonna be something the best with they gonna be they're gonna be something they're gonna be a hard uh order to fill. Yeah, they won a lot of games. 57 yeah. to 15. That's what they almost about 60 wins. You see, they you know they stepping it up right now. You know, I you would think they'd be you know stepping it up like towards, you know what I'm saying, towards the end. They stepping it up right now, though. Let's get it barred anyway. And like they like you said, they got big, a real big lead. So that be they've been uh stepping it up a long time ago. Yep, and it seemed like the standards are starting to lock up. Um, the Nets are starting to get separated from the Hawks, and this is looking like you're gonna have your, you know the your seating is pretty much locked in. Um, and Orlando look like they're gonna they're gonna pass through the plan. So it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. And I'm looking at the standards. The Knicks they fourth. Um, they they really much damn near neck and neck with um the Cavs. The, the the Knicks and the Cavs could still take that second seed in the East. So that second seed is up for grabs. The Bucks they they forty six and twenty five. The Cavs are forty four and twenty eight. The Knicks are forty three and twenty eight. So they right there. You know they could catch the Bucks if the Bucks start slipping. So I mean. The <laughs> Standards look kind of crazy. Yeah. So somebody, somebody just said the Celtics clinch number one. No, I believe that. Celtics, they're they going to like say Porzingis going to be a problem, especially going into the play. He's seven foot something. That's going to be something hard to deal with. And um, the Celtics, they always got beat up by teams that was bigger than them. You know, um, even Giannis and them, they were going there and bullying them. Bam and them were going there and bullied them. You know, now you got Porzingis. Uh, Porzingis is a guy, you know, um, I know I, I, I joke around with him, but he's not really soft. Um, and he will uh, provide some mean streak. And he's a guy who could give you 30, you know. So uh, Porzingis, he's, uh, I guess, he's, I guess, a role player, you want to say. But you give him the ball in the right situation, hell, he believe he's the number one option. So you need guys like that. You know, you need a guy who you give it to Porzingis, he feel like he better than Bam Adebayo. You know, you give it to Porzingis, he feel like he could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Giannis. He think he on that same level. You know, so you got to have a little craziness, you know, and delusional to be successful. And the Celtics have that. You know, Porzingis believe he's a goddamn number one option, you know, just like all of them. And he out there proving it, putting up 30-something, 20-something plus. I mean, he's that kind of player. Yeah. They let go of Marcus Smart for him, you know. Okay. So. I didn't even know that Kozika was a player with Boston Celtics. Oh, yeah, he with the Celtics. So he pretty much pushing their ass over the top. Okay. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Like That's, that's going to be an ultimate buzzkill for teams. He's seven foot. He's going to be protecting the rim. 
He can hit the three. This is going to be a problem. You know, so he's a perfect ideal fit for the Celtics. Good. You know, um, I still think Miami's going to be a problem. You know, um, like certain teams, it just don't matter the seedings. And um, if you want to stay the hell away from Miami, if possible. So, I, I know because yeah. this is going to be sitting up there trying to guard uh, Giannis. Well, uh, he's in position now. He just probably he's going to protect the rim. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, uh, uh, boy, that'd be that'd be a good matchup, though. Like, yeah, that'd be a good one, man. Hey, uh, how the well, how the Bulls stand? They, is, is, do, do, they uh, they go clinch. They they the position to clinch. Uh, to get well, this. well, I don't know about clinching, but they they're the ninth seed. They 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 look like they they're gonna be locked in for the plan. Okay. Up the play, yeah. yeah. From there, they're gonna have to scratch and claw. Like I said, you see Philly; they was they was at the top of the East. Now they fell all the way to the bottom. Oh, did they? And Philly, they thirty nine and thirty two. Oh man, Joel coming back. So it's gonna be tough. I mean, you, these teams are still gonna be hard to beat. Like, can the Bulls beat Philadelphia in the plan? Can the Bulls actually beat Miami? Yeah. I Yeah, he. Uh, somebody says if Tatum doesn't want to ring with that borderline super team, he will be exposed. Uh, I mean, I, I, I can't say that, but I mean, I'm with you, though. You know, I, I don't have to be this year either. You know, so it's going to come down to a slugfest in the playoffs, you know. It's going to be them versus the Bucks. Um, whoever could, you know, take who down. I'm going to roll with Dame. I think Dame's going to come alive in the playoffs, and I can only imagine the Dame versus Tatum. You know, Tatum going to be ready to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This shit could be crazy. Somebody said 76 is yeah, they fell all the way. Man. This dude, he need to just ask for a trade. If I'm if I'm Joel Embiid, I'm getting the hell up out of there. You know, shit don't make no damn sense. Yeah, it seemed that way. His time is being wasted, you know, um, and he, he don't got much time. You know, I think Joel really got maybe two more years. You know, these knee injuries, you're not going to keep having knee injury after knee injury after knee injury, and you just keep coming back an a animal. You know, at some point, one of these injuries, shit ain't going to come back right. You know, it's just, it's just point blank period. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, Joel, he's been having this knee injury, knee injury since the moment he got in the league. You know, or he just had all these problems. Right. He's been able to bounce back and bounce back and bounce back. Yeah. You know, just like I said, it's, uh, he's seven foot, you know, and I, they need to get this dude some help, you know, because he was an MVP. Um, you got Maxi. Maxi to me, He's not a natural superstar. He's not a natural all-star. I think he's a guy who eventually got put into that situation just being around these dudes, and he worked his way to that. You know, I don't think it's natural for Tyrese. You know, um, is and that's nothing to if that if hopefully it makes sense to some people. Um, Tyrese to me is a is a is an all-star caliber player, but I just think that they need to get a bona fide. You know, uh, a bona fide another number one option, and to his credit, to to Joel, it's not all his fault. You know, who the hell would have thought Ben Simmons would have fell off the face of the map? I think we ain't never seen. You talking about a guy who his trajectory was way up to he just he forgot how to play the game of basketball, right? And Joel Embiid had to suffer for that. Um, and then they trade for James Harden, all hell break loose. I mean, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Scott's MVP, and you got James Harden talking about he ready to leave. So it's just a crazy situation. You leave an MVP of the league. Um, you didn't. You couldn't get to where you need to get to. You can't blame him. You know, you can't blame him. You got Joel Embiid playing like his life on the line, and these dudes can't play. Help him, you know, and, and he on one leg doing all of this and you got James Harden he 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 trying to pass the motherfucking ball so it's just it's a mess right
you know, it was a complete mess that was going on. Um, and guys had to um, work around it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. There's definitely a lot, man, to talk about. Um, it's just the beginning. And then the last one. So it's all y'all in the chat. We just getting started. Somebody says Embiid has been hurt his whole career. <coughs> That's not a new note. It's not. It's not, like I said, it's not a new thing. Yeah, it's all coming back next season from all accounts. It's oh, yeah. He coming back to see another vibe with Lonzo because the vibes around Lonzo have just been so crazy. You know, I, I like I like what I've been hearing, you know, lately. It seemed like every Lonzo update is positive. Um, and as a Lonzo fan, what more could you ask for? You yeah. know, I mean, it's, it's good to hear. You know, before you hear bad stuff, now everything is great. So all we can do is hope for Lonzo be back. Training camp, be coming back around. Man, this is gonna be history making, y'all, with Lonzo coming back from this this injury, this operation, you know. And like I said, he's a young player. Oh yeah, we're gonna break down. I'm gonna get into something tomorrow as well involving Lonzo. Uh, we got a lot of things to discuss. Uh, make sure that you're open to getting involved in our conversations. Um, so many different ball family topics. Um, it's gonna be a busy summer. You know, um, I believe that Jello is going to play a major part in the summer. Um, you know, as we approach and get ready for this season, you know, this year has been wild. Um, but now, next year, we literally could have Lonzo Mello back. Lord knows what's up with Jello. We might even get Jello overseas. You know, we might get Jello in the summer league. The Drew, who knows? But I do know there's a plan in place for all of them, you know, and just we just got to sit back and be patient. Melo needs to play over 60 games, I think. I think that helps, you know, and they, you need to get some extra pieces, too, to alleviate the heat off Melo. Oh, you yeah. Know, you're not doing everything, you know. I think now you have people who can put the ball on the floor. You got people who can help facilitate. You got Michich. You got people. You got people. When he does go to the bench, they can be copacetic. I'm not saying be be just all world when he on the bench, but you should be able to be functional. You know, well, yeah, y'all shouldn't be. Y'all shouldn't drop off. And every time he go to the bench, is when the hell is he getting back in? They need some more pieces up, like yeah, they need more. Yeah, just simple as that. Some good pieces, you know. Not just you know something just to fill up a spot. They need somebody that can, you know, they want to come out and be, you know, be successful. The players to come out and play to come out and be successful. You don't have to be players like that in the NBA like that, you know. But uh, it's not about that, though. You just don't, Charlotte just don't find them like that. But hopefully they can find Charlotte some kind of way. Hopefully yeah. Charlotte can find them, especially if they find them in the drafts, man. That's where they go get them at flight, in the drafts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna definitely make be 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 it. Ready, we get the ball just ready to play, just ready to go now. Yeah. So my uh, Thunder says Hornets have a good future, but the present isn't looking good. Yeah. Uh, you know, the most recent present, maybe, like I said, I like the trade deadline things that they did. Uh, they, they shook it up a little bit. Uh, they also. Cut the dead weight with the book nights. They should have let JT Thor go though. Um, they need to make a decision on McGowan's. I think all of these guys, um, like I said, it's it's tough, but it's time to move on. You got to get better young talent. If McGowan's can't hit wide open threes, to get them the hell off the floor, you know, because he, he can't facilitate. He ain't gonna play, man. He ain't gonna do. What else can you do? Besides, hit the damn shot when Melo pass you the ball. If you can't do that, I mean, there's no reason for your ass to be on the floor. And they got all these other people now that could possibly do that. Um, they need to make a decision on JT Thor and Bryce McGowan's. I think Nick Richards is a guy who he could stay. Um, he's shown promise. Uh, he's shown that he could be a part of this. But anybody that has shown that they are not willing to take their game seriously, it's time to get them the hell out of Charlotte, you know, period. Yeah, I hear you. 
Yep. It's gonna take it's gonna take that kind of toughness, you know, to happen. Says McGowan is a small forward for us to play guard. Well, whatever the hell he is, um, it's just he just ain't been up to par. And like I said, JT Thor as well. You know, um, they survived the initial plunge, you know, they let go of and you see what's going on with Kai Jones. He out there doing things with Philly, you know, um well, well not the Sixers, but I believe the G League squad and um they trying to do something. So it is where this is McGowan's is basically Pat Nossie. See, that's disrespectful. You talking about he Pat Bear. He ain't no damn Pat Bear. Bryce McGowan's, I'm going to put those two names in the same sentence. Patrick Beverly was actually a difference maker moving. He was a needle mover. You know, McGowan's ain't moving the needle. You know, it's missing 94 feet now. Slow down. Pat Bear, he ain't wasn't an all-star, but he was a hell of a player. You know, especially in his prime. I can't do you like I can't have you doing like that. Yeah, Pat Bev, you all right. Yeah, but Pat Bev was a problem, you know, back in his prime. You know, causing causing pain problems to these people. Yeah. You know, yeah. To, me, to me, he was always the uh the enemy. I don't know why. Every team he played for, I didn't like. Right. Yeah, he, he started to get do better as he got older. Like he like like he, he real entertaining. He yeah. came. The way he, he, came he came to the Bulls, and I didn't even like him with the Bulls. Yeah, well, he's a lot older. You no, know, his, his glory days obviously was when he was in Houston. You know, um, he had some good Minnesota days, but really when he was with Houston with Hardy. Yeah, I agree. That was the glory days of Patrick Beverly, you know, um, and all the things that he, he could do. But it was a crazy situation, you know. Um, this is a wild season uh, coming up. What team is Pat Bev on again? Uh, I don't even know my job, Fly. I don't know what your TV is. Uh... <clears throat> uh, it says, did they shut Melo down? Um, like I said, this is a wild situation. What was going on? Uh, I don't know why people come put two and two together with LaMelo Ball, but he wasn't coming back. Uh, I didn't need them to announce, you know, what was going on. But I don't like how they handled it because they, they strolled Hornets fans around. They they never really shut Melo down. They still never did. But it's crazy. Yeah, well, they they go set the season down. If they set the they'll make to go sit try to play him, but they go set the season down. They ain't trying to win no games. Yeah, they um yeah they eliminated, but oh. technically the horn has been eliminated uh, yeah. before before that even happened. Like we didn't need them to be mathematically eliminated, right? I understand? But they they should have the rest. Yeah, was shut, uh, he should have been shut. He was already shut down for the season, right? I was telling some people off camera that Melo wasn't coming back. You know, I was like, "Hey, man, my lawyer coming back." Yeah, and it's like I was just, just you can't. I'm just, just let me break the news to you. He won't be back. Right. Yeah, with Jello out there kicking with it out, or with Bello down there. What you say? Jello probably out there kicking with Bello there. No, Melo's still going to games. He's still showing up at games. Yeah, I'm about to say, no, Melo is still with, with the Charlotte Hornets. Okay, but Lonzo, like I said, all accounts, it looks like he's in California. So you probably see Lonzo and Jello. Okay. Uh, more than likely. But eventually, I'm pretty sure they're all about to reunite anyway. Right. Over the summer. So, right. um, but, but, but Melo, is, you see him practice. And that's another thing. A lot of people, they make it a scene like, like Melo, he could have been came back. Um, what I will say, and in, in, in somewhat closing, is that with Lamelo, Lamelo did this when the season is over. They're gonna bring out Lamelo's stats and how many games he played, and it's just gonna look horrendous. But real Lamelo fans know that he could have played this season already. It's just there was no reason for him to come back, um, and. Like I said, next year just they, they just gotta be in a better situation. You just can't have these injury issues. The ankle and all it gotta hold up. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I agree with that. Yep. So the Bucks need 120 points to win games.
Yeah, that's crazy. The um, Melo is gonna be good. So it's just, it's just hanging there, y'all. It definitely is wild how the season is ending, you know. But it definitely wasn't the way I expected it. But it is what it is. Let's go better for next year. Oh, yeah. I agree with that, Flight. Yeah. So nonetheless, man, we're going to figure it out. But uh, we're going to pull back up tomorrow. Uh, uh, this was a hell of a conversation. We're going to pick up this Triple B talk tomorrow. Make sure you hit the like button. Most definitely hit the subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV. You already know what it is. Flight Sports TV, right, man. That's my dude. I'll with him. You heard what the man said. It's Flight Sports TV.